Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. For a while, I've been looking for something different, uh, just to change up the monotony of what I've been cooking and everything, and you know, having for lunches and stuff. So I uh, started thinking, years back, I had French onion macaroni and cheese at a restaurant. I remember that stuff. It was pretty dang good. So did a little bloop, 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 and I found a recipe. It's really easy. Sounds really easy. I've never tried it, but sounds really easy. So that's what we're going to make today. So y'all sit back, relax, and uh, I'll get to cooking. All right, y'all. The recipe I found, uh, it's not technically from scratch. Um, it does utilize the uh, mac and cheese box stuff so uh, that it's got sour cream it's got butter and of course French onion soup mix so uh, I'm gonna get some water boiling up here we'll get the noodles boiled up and then uh, once that's all done we'll uh, get it mixed up and give her a try so I'm gonna get the water boiling and uh, we'll bring you all back all right y'all I got that water coming up to a good boil here um, I'm going to try something I've seen on the internet. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But uh, they say to pull your pot about halfway off. Add your noodles and stuff. And you won't have to stir this stuff. Because boiling on this half will keep it churned up. We're going to try it. See if that actually works. But... We are going to grab a spoon and uh, kind of stir it until we get it back boiling again so you know it doesn't stick before. So let's try this. Like I said, I don't have no clue whether it's going to work or not. I'm going to turn it for my handles, not over the heating element. So, all right. And it's starting to kind of boil back up again. Uh, it's moving a little bit. Oh, I think it's bull. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I see the noodles here moving a little bit, but not over here. So, I don't know. Huh? Well, we'll let her try. See here. If it actually starts working, I'll bring y'all back. Y'all, it's kind of working. Um... It's not getting the whole pan, but uh, I don't know. I'm just going to put it over the whole burner and uh, boil them up. So I'll just keep stirring them. I'm calling BS on that. Of course, I didn't add any oil to the noodles, but I need to turn it down just a hair. I mean, it is boiling across the side there, you know, so, I don't know. We're just going to keep uh, stirring it, so, all right, we'll bring you back when we're done with the noodles. All right, y'all, got our noodles all boiled up there. Uh, now, the recipe calls to replace the milk and butter with sour cream, so... And it's a quarter cup per box of uh, sour cream, so we got a half a half a cup of sour cream here that I cannot get out of the measuring cup. Let me grab something to grab out of the measuring cup here. There we go. Got that. Alright, 
Got that. And again, they call for a half a packet of uh, French, on French onion soup mix. So we're doing two boxes. So we're going to put two in there. And then we're going to add our noodles back in and get everything all mixed up. So. Oh, forgot our cheese mix. Our cheesy cheese mix. Gotta add the pack cheese packets. I don't know if this would work with the uh, stuff that already has the cream in it. Or the, you know, the cheese sauce. Imagine it would. So, but, yeah. We're going to try it this way. Maybe next time we make it. We'll try it with the other stuff, so. Smelling really good. It actually smells like the stuff I had in the restaurant. Now it says on the uh, instructions that if it starts getting too clumpy, you can add a little bit more sour cream. I don't think this is going to be too clumpy. Y'all, it's smelling really, really good. So I think I'm going to actually take a little, try a little little bite of it. Hmm. I think I'm going to add me just a little squirt, a little bit more squirt of uh, sour cream. Just to make it a little bit creamier, that's all. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better there, y'all. Yeah, that looks a whole lot better. So, all right. I think we got it. I'm going to dish some of this out, and uh, we'll do our taste test. So, y'all hang out. All right, y'all. I got the uh, got me a bowl of this stuff here, and uh, I put a little French fried onions on top. You know, just decoration, get a little bit of a crunch. So, let me grab a uh, eating utensil, and uh, we'll do our little taste test. All right, y'all. Moment of truth. Time for our taste test here. We got the uh, you know French onion mac and cheese with the uh, French fried onions on top. So. I'm going to give her a little taste here. Y'all, that tastes pretty much so like stuff I had in the restaurant. That's pretty dang good. That'd be... That will make it, that'd make a really awesome side dish. I mean, that's how I had it in the restaurant. It was on the side. But, uh, yeah, that's fairly good, so, and really easy to make. So, um, there you have it, French onion mac and cheese. Hope you all are going to try that. Um, it was something new, you know, I was looking for something different. I found it, and uh, if you guys have any ideas on, you know, some different recipes, you know, maybe something you had in a restaurant or something, uh, shoot me an email. 
Emails in the uh, uh, homepage. That's it. Homepage. So, anyways, I'm getting tongue tied. That stuff's really good. I'm thinking about eating it. So, please, if you would, hit that thumbs up. You know, leave me a comment down below. And uh, as always, bear appetite.